wonderful to welcome you all here for this very special occasion at the University of Rhode Island. I just would like to begin by acknowledging, as we do, that we are meeting on the traditional stomping grounds of the Niantic people and, uh, and the Narragansett First Nation. So, uh, so we're so pleased to be here to celebrate with you. We, we've been looking forward to this day. Uh, the University Academic Excellence Awards is very special. Um, all the students that we are celebrating were selected by department faculty and deans, and it was really based on exceptional academic performance and other indicators of excellence, such as completion of an honors project, research, community service, exceptional professional and civic promise. These are really fantastic people that we're celebrating. This group, distinctly capable, forward-thinking students that we honor today have focused on their work and performed at the highest level of academic excellence. And so I not only congratulate each and every one of you for your accomplishments, but I also honor your courage and persistence in pursuing your academic goals and dreams. And as educators at the university, there's little that we cherish more than the celebration of excellence. That's really students rising to the challenges to realize their full potential. And so each of the recipients of the Academic Excellence Award that we're gonna to celebrate today has risen to that level of accomplishment. And so we warmly congratulate each of you on your spectacular achievements. You've really, each year, you know, you've really uh, outdone what we've ever had, this is really fantastic for URI. And you've also really demonstrated, I think, to the community and to all your peers that it's really cool to work hard and to emerge from that work ethic. And you have, again, not only raised the bar for yourself, but you raised it for the community. So I think uh, as a group, you have certainly defined a new culture of achievement. I hope that you feel a lot of pride also in your accomplishments and this really enhances our university and is really needed in, in our society. Thank you for your efforts. Thank you for taking full advantage of the special opportunity uh, and this opportunity to work and grow at the university. So we, your professors, advisors, family members, partners and friends, let us all warmly applaud the group that we have here today. So it's my pleasure now to introduce our Chief Academic Officer, the Provost of the University, Professor Barbara Wolf. Thank you. For the presentation of the awards, I am obviously joined by our President, Dr. Mark Parlange, and the academic deans who are sitting in the front row. And let me just introduce to you uh, all of the individuals who are with us, uh, certainly our deans, also, Dr. Karen De Bruyne, Honors Program Director. She's not present, but we do have representation here from the Honors Program. We have Dean Paul Larrett, the College of Pharmacy. Dean Betty Ramber, the College of Nursing. Associate Dean Brian Kruger, the College of Arts and Sciences. Dean Shaw Chen, the College of Business. Dean Anthony Marchese, the College of Engineering. Dean John Kirby, College of Environment and Life Sciences and Dean Deborah Reby, College of Health Sciences, and Dean Danielle Dennis of the Alan Sean Feinstein College of Education. Upon arrival today, each Academic Excellence Awardee received an Academic Excellence Award medallion that we hope you will wear today and with your commencement regalia this weekend. In addition, each award recipient will receive from their dean a Certificate of Academic Excellence it is now my pleasure to introduce the recipients of the 2023 Academic Excellence Awards. I know you will be impressed with what these students have accomplished inside and outside the university. And President Parlange will help me as we introduce each of these individuals to you. I will now ask Dean Paul Larratt to join us on stage. And we'll start with Stephanie Dowling. Doctor of Pharmacy.
A leader amongst her peers, Stephanie graduates summa cum laude with a doctor of pharmacy. Stephanie is actively engaged in leadership of student organizations, competing nationally in a clinical skills competition and mentoring students as a pharmacy tutor. Stephanie advocates for pharmacy and health, attending legislative committee hearings at the State House to support increasing the pharmacist's role in patient care. Stephanie is committed to advancing her skills to provide optimal health to diverse populations. And upon graduation, Stephanie begins postgraduate residency at Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center in Lebanon, New Hampshire. Congratulations, Stephanie. <laughs> Margaret Maggie Hill, Pharmaceutical Sciences. Originally from Maryland, Maggie came to URI for its prominence in natural products research. She excelled academically in the honors program and was the first student in Pharmaceutical Sciences' accelerated bachelor's to master's program. As a researcher, she received first place in the URI showcase for undergraduate research among STEM majors and presented a poster at the American Society of Pharmacognosy, there, I had to think about that for a moment, um, National Conference. And with her leadership at this organization, um, what she was recognized, and URI started its first student chapter of this national organization. She also volunteered at every college outreach, even outreach event and served as the class representative. Congratulations, Maggie. I will now ask Dean Betty Ramber to join me on stage. And we have Lily Jacobson, nursing. Lily is an outstanding student who represents URI and nursing in the best possible light. She held leadership positions in URI's tour guide program and first year orientation team. And I have had the exceptional opportunity to see her in action on welcome day. She is also a three year member of the College of Nursing Undergraduate Advisory Committee. Lily has distinguished herself as a student who is most filled with compassion, enthusiasm, and excitement about the patients she cares for. Lily is motivated and motivates others with her dedication to healthcare. Her fellow students look to her for advice and guidance, and given Lily's enthusiasm, motivation, and intellectual curiosity, she will excel in all that she seeks to accomplish. Her self-discipline, creativity, and compassion for the good of others makes her an outstanding student who is destined for greatness. Congratulations. I would now like to ask Dean Brian Kruger to join us on the stage. Africana Studies, Joe Amaral. Joe is a dual major in Africana Studies and Communications. He is one of the founding creators of the Diversity Dialogues Undergraduate Organization and also a founding member of the Africana Studies Student Advisory Council. He serves on the College of Arts and Sciences Anti-Racism Committee and is also a teaching assistant for the course Black Images in Film this semester. He has a minor in English, and he plans to go on in the future to a PhD program in Africana Studies. Bravo. Anthropology, Alex Etheridge. Alex is an anthropology and history double major from Burrowville, Rhode Island. After transferring to URI in the spring of 2020, she discovered a passion for archaeology. 
This summer, she will attend archaeological field schools in Portugal and Spain to gain firsthand experience in unearthing the past. She hopes to go to graduate school and pursue a career in either archaeology or museum studies. In her spare time, she loves coaching hockey and lacrosse teams. Congratulations, Alex. Olivia LaFazia, Art. Olivia is a major in studio arts. Consumed early on with drawing, she primarily uses charcoal for her incredibly detailed illustrations and drawings which are influenced by fantasy, horror, anime, all the way to the Renaissance. Surprising when you meet her. She currently has her work in the Hura Gallery in Wakefield. So please go look for her work at art fairs around the state as she pursues commissions. Congratulations, Olivia. For chemistry, we have Haley Hendricks. Haley will be graduating with a BS in chemistry, which is certified by the American Chemical Society and with a minor in mathematics. An honors program graduate, she has been heavily involved in research under the direction of Dr. Matt Kieswetter, studying the presence of microplastics in flowers. After she graduates, Haley will be attending graduate school at Princeton University with support from a NSF Graduate Research Fellowship. Congratulations. Computer Science, Isabella Ann Martinez. Isabella is graduating with a BS in Computer Science. During her academic career, she has been a teaching assistant in Computer Science and a software development intern at FM Global. This year, Isabella was awarded a prestigious National Science Foundation Cyber Corps Scholarship. And this summer, she will intern with the Federal Defense Information Security Agency before continuing her master's degree in cybersecurity at URI next fall. Isabella. Communication Studies, Taylor Roberts. Taylor, a Communication Studies major, transferred to URI in 2021. She found purpose and passion studying interpersonal communication social justice, nonviolence, and environmental science. She plans to continue her education in environmental science with the goal of educating others about the effects of climate change and the disproportionate impact it has on impoverished people around the globe. Congratulations, Taylor. Olivia Belitzos, Criminology and Criminal Justice. Olivia is an honors program student and a triple major in Criminology and Criminal Justice, Philosophy and Psychology. She plans to earn a PhD in Clinical Psychology. With her commitment to social justice, she plans to advocate for prison reform. She has helped recruit new students to URI at numerous events, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you. And she claims, uh, of course, and I know she enjoys hiking, swimming, and the beach, but I don't know how she has time for any of that with a triple major. Congratulations, <laughs> Olivia. For data science, Jory 
Almarzuki. Jury is graduating with a BS in data science and a minor in math. She worked as a teaching assistant for data science courses and a research assistant for the Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. She volunteers as treasurer of URI's South Asian Student Association and member in the Global Peer Program. Next year, she plans to attend graduate school for business analytics. Congratulations, Jury. Thank you so much. For economics, Sarah Beth McLean. Sarah Beth is graduating with majors in economics, BS in applied economics, and political science with a minor in leadership studies. Her honors project is on the implementation of international capital standards in the United States, while her senior economics project looks at the impact of the child tax credit on child poverty. She interned at the Federal Reserve, for whom she will work full-time after graduation. Sarah Beth, congratulations. English. Emmett Munterick. Emmett is graduating with a double major in English and Public Relations as president of the Rotaract Service Club and as a digital writing consultant for the Harrington School. Emmett helps others reach their goals of fulfillment and impact. Professor Peter Covino's poetry course altered his academic and professional career into one of creative expression. Emmett has also received the Nancy Potter and Mary Petrella Scholarships. Congratulations. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, for film media, Alexander Petroris. Alex's capstone film, The Sky Above Us, is based on the James Joyce story Hope I say this right. Arabi? Arabi. Okay, thank you. And is screening at festivals. Last fall, Alex worked with an elementary school classroom to get a child's perspective on climate change, engaging in collaborative art making. Alex's honors project, Block Island Stories, works with the Block Island Historical Society and focuses on preserving the oral history of the island. Warm congratulations, Alex, on receiving your award for film media. For Gender and Women's Studies, Emma Rousseau. As a Gender and Women's Studies major, Emma, Emma is most passionate about social justice in the areas of gender, reproductive rights, race, and sexuality. She believes in the transformative power of community, engaging in the important work while a staff member of the Gender and Sexuality Center. In 2023, she received the Center for Humanities Eric Kampf Memorial Honor Student Grant for her honors research project titled, Why We Need to Start Talking About Menstrual Insecurity. Emma plans to attend graduate school and continue the fight for equality, justice, and equity. Congratulations, Emma. The next award is for German, Heather DiFazio. Heather is a triple major in biomedical engineering, mathematics, and German. She spent her fourth year in Germany doing research on cloning followed by an internship at Siemens. Heather is a Deemer's Foreign Language Fellow, a URI Orientation Leader, and as the leader of an alternative spring break program. She is in the 2022-23 College Leadership Rhode Island cohort and will soon be pursuing graduate research in Switzerland as a Fulbright awardee. Bravo. Yeah. For Global Language and Area Studies, Jonah Major. 
Jonah is graduating with a BA in Film Studies and GLAS, Global Language and Area Studies, with a Japanese Studies track. He has been dedicated in terms of his dedication to language learner who contributes to the promotion of intercultural and global understanding among the Japanese learning community on campus. In 2021 through 2023, Jonah served as our co-organizer of Japanese Movie Night to introduce the Japanese films that are crucial in understanding Japan's identity and history. He has been involved in fascinating film projects, including his undergraduate project, Apollonius Bucket, that communicates humanistic values and a global message. Congratulations. We are now going to recognize history leadership, and Alex Etheridge is back on stage again, this time in history. Alex is double majoring in history and anthropology and completed her history capstone project by doing original research on the Moorish Science Temple of America. The recipient of multiple scholarships, she has served as a teaching assistant in Introduction to Archaeology, worked on an excavation in Portugal, and interned at the South County Museum. She plans to pursue a career in museum studies. Congratulations. Eric Grant for journalism. Eric is graduating with a BA in journalism. He brought a wealth of experience and knowledge into the classroom when he often served as a role model for other students. Eric's observational and reporting skills were always on display in class and once he graduates, the journalism faculty look forward to reading about his travel exploits in print. Congratulations, Eric. Welcome back to the stage, Heather. Heather, this uh, award is for mathematics. Heather is a triple BS major, German, applied math, mathematics, and biomedical engineering. As an applied math major, Heather has taken a wide range of courses, including math tools for computing, advanced engineering math, and the history of mathematics. During her year abroad in Germany, she completed a discrete mathematics for computer sciences course at TU Braunschweig, and following graduation, Heather has been awarded a Fulbright Study Research Scholarship and will study artificial intelligence in medicine at the University of Bern in Switzerland. Bravo. For music, Caleb Hilliard. Caleb performs in various URI and community ensembles, including drum major of the Ram Marching Band, he serves as president of URI's Music Education Collegiate Chapter. His research has been published in the State Music Education Journal. Caleb is an active student, particularly in the student government, active having served as the Speaker of the Student Senate. He is a recipient of a URI Writing Award in the Undergraduate Scholarly Research category and is also a URI Music Department Presser Scholar. Congratulations. Thank you, Olivia. For philosophy and returning, uh, welcome Olivia. Hailing from Texas, Olivia majored in philosophy, criminology, and criminal justice, psychology, and minoring in gender and women's studies. She is in the honors program, and her intellectual strength and empathy for others has shown through. After working as a research assistant and then heading to graduate school in clinical psychology, Olivia plans to use her philosophical skills in the service of prison reform as a forensic psychologist. Congratulations, Olivia. Or physics, Oliver Carey. 
Oliver is graduating with a BS in physics with minors in cell and molecular biology and in mathematics. Oliver has participated in research experiences at the University of Rome and at Purdue University. These are in addition to his research at URI on quasars, funded by NASA, and his research at GSO, Graduate School of Oceanography, and the College of Environmental Life Sciences. Fun fact for the audience, as I have learned, quasars is an extremely, quote, luminous active galactic nucleus. So Oliver, we look forward to you explaining that to us, but Oliver will be attending Brown University Physics PhD program. Congratulations. So the award for political science goes to Molly Melnick. Molly is an accomplished honor student, double majoring in political science and Spanish with a minor in philosophy. In her honors project, she studied the role sexism plays in the decision-making process for women running for political office and created a short podcast series summarizing her findings. Molly was a teaching assistant for a large course on American politics and in addition to her distinguished academic performance, Molly also served as a program assistant and instructor for URI Campus Recreation. And Molly is also a very nice person and she saved a cat which now lives at the president's house. So Molly, uh, <laughs> congratulations. For public relations, Catherine Kat Kalugaros. Tenacious, strategic, and determined are several attributes defining Kat, a double major in public relations and communication studies, with a minor in writing and rhetoric and English. Robust internships punctuated her academic career, solidifying her skills in copywriting and media relations. Thank you, Kat, for serving in a leadership role with URI's Chapter of Public Relations and Student Society of America. Congratulations. Thank you. Giona Pacheco for Sociology. Giona is a senior psychology major with a double major in political science and a minor in French. A veteran of the United States Navy, she served multiple deployments before relocating to Cranston, Rhode Island and beginning her university career at the University of Rhode Island. A community organizer who ran for state representative in House District 14 during 2022, she opes to earn a PhD in sociology before embarking on a career in public service. Thank you for your service, Giona. I think she's back. For Spanish, back once again, Molly Melnick, she graduates with a BA in Spanish and political science, a minor in philosophy, and the honors credential. Her many awards and honors attest to her abilities and her achievements, including the Strauss and Warren Scholars Award, membership in honor societies, and a research fellowship in arts and sciences. A penetrating critical thinker, an engaging bilingual and intercultural communicator, Molly is an inspiring human embodying what liberal, ed liberal arts education can and should be. Congratulations. Thanks, Noah. Sports media and communication is to Noah Zedzina. Noah is a double major in sports media and communication and communication studies. He's part of the first cohort of students to go through our emerging sports media and communication program. And while his grades are, were fantastic, and hence this award, Noah was just as great in the classroom. 
He always has a smile and a kind word to go along with a smart question or sharp insight. His positive attitude, curiosity, and kindness were evident throughout his time here, and we were lucky he shared them with us. Thank you, Noah. For theater, Tessa Tess Cruz. Tess Cruz is graduating with a BFA in theater with the plan of stage management. With an exceptional GPA and number of main stage production assignments under her belt, she has skillfully juggled an artistic and academic schedule. Tess has supported the theater department as a house manager through social media and multiple production management positions. Tess recently completed her tenure with URI Theater as the stage manager for the department's largest production of the year, Into the Woods. Congratulations, Tess. Uh, thank you so much, Brian. And now I will ask Dean Shochan to join me on stage. So for accounting, Layla Rosenthal is graduating with a degree in accounting while having served as captain of our fantastic Division I soccer team. She has interned with public accounting firm Erst & Young in New York and will begin working for the firm after graduation. She runs her own small business enterprise on Etsy and is studying to take the CPA exam and just ran her first half marathon on April 15th. This summer, Layla is planning to create another collection of clothing. clothing. Bravo, Layla. For finance, Samantha Brown. Samantha Brown is from Warwick, Rhode Island, and is graduating in finance. She is a student executive officer of Beta Sigma Sigma, she is a veteran analyst from the prestigious RAM Fund and currently enrolled in the CFA prep course. During her time at URI, she earned her Excel and Bloomberg Market Concepts certification. She has been awarded multiple scholarships, including the Feinstein Leadership Scholarship, Janice M. Patton Scholarship, and the P. Galantis CBA Scholarship. Congratulations, Samantha. For General Business Administration, Jenna Sousa. Jenna Sousa is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. She's also a recording artist with many singles and wrote and performed the song, The Future. Her song reached 21 on the US 200 Billboard charts and number one on the US Dance Electronic Album charts. Being in school while doing her music has been a lot of hard work, but it's certainly paid off. And in the future, through her life's work and her inter interactions with others, she wants to see where her talents and education will take her next. Congratulations, Jenna. For global business, Megan Lance. Megan is graduating with a BS in Business Administration, majoring in global business with a minor in Spanish. Active in the campus community, she was a member of the URI women's club field hockey team and the professional business fraternity Delta Sigma Pi. Over the summer, Megan will be starting a job with Toyota in logistics at their North American Parts Center in Hebron, Kentucky. Congratulations. Green Business Administration goes to Virginia Smith. Virginia, originally from California, is a senior green business student. 
completing a double degree in general business and resource economics with minors in textile merchandise and design and Spanish. In addition to completing two degrees and two minors with an outstanding GPA, Virginia has been holding employment on and off campus, including work as a research assistant in sustainable textiles. Virginia has also volunteered with Habitat for Humanity for the last four years. Congratulations, Virginia. For management, Evelyn DePritch. Evelyn is a management major in communication studies minor from Lawrence Township, New Jersey. Evelyn is an NCAA student athlete on the outstanding women's soccer team. She has an internship in retail and real estate and has worked part-time for the Providence Bruins and Starbucks and volunteered at the Rhode Island Canned Food Bank during all of her time here at URI. She is also interested in travel and art, and in the future, she's interested in pursuing a career in sports business or marketing, and will be moving to Florida. Congratulations. The next award is in marketing, and it goes to Vincent Smith. Vincent is a senior marketing major in the College of Business with a minor in communications. In addition to having one of the top GPAs in his major, Vincent has held multiple leadership roles, including being a URI 101 mentor and brotherhood chair of Tau Kappa Epsilon Executive Board. Vincent has accepted a job with Fidelity Investments after, uh, after congr graduation, after graduation, sorry. Congr congratulations, Vincent. Yeah. <laughs> For supply chain management, Emma Grant. Emma Nicole Grant has served in leadership positions across the URI 101 program, Supply Chain Management Club, the Beta Gamma Sigma, and the Phi Kappa Phi, and, and as a URI 101 mentor, NTA, president, and active member, respectively. She's been busy. Emma has had multiple internship positions with Becton Dickinson, a Fortune 500 company, and Emma is an entrepreneur and COO of Artisan Bridge, a nonprofit that enables economic opportunities to Guatemalan artisans. Congratulations. Textile Marketing is the next award to Hannah Hardy. Hannah is gradu graduating with a BS in Textile Marketing. Hannah is a member of the Association of Textile Chemists and was the programming chair for the Textile Honor Society and contributed prize-winning designs to TMD's Spring Flash Fashion Show. Hannah has been a technical design product development intern with TJX companies since May 2022 and will pursue a career with TJX while developing her own fashion designs. Congratulations, Hannah. The award for textiles, fashion, merchandising, and design goes to Sasha Dugan. Sasha is a first-generation college student from Tiverton, Rhode Island, graduating with a BS in textiles, fashion, merchandising, and design. Sasha has two minors, art history and general business. She was a teaching assistant for Art 120, was marketing communications chair for the Student Alumni Association, and has just concluded a fashion internship at Lady Black Tie in Hudson, Massachusetts. Sasha plans to find a merchandise buyer position after graduation. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And now I, I'll welcome Dean Anthony Marchese from the College of Engineering to join us on stage. So the award for biomedical engineering, thank you Heather, 
goes to Heather DeFazio, and yes, she's back again. Uh, Heather is a triple major in biomedical engineering, applied mathematics in German, who has gained industry experience through internships with medical technologies, and most recently with Siemens Health during her year abroad in Germany. She has held positions as an orientation leader, executive council member of her sorority, and a trip leader for the URI Service Corps. Heather has also participated in a J-term trip to Indonesia, is a member of Tau Beta Pi, and serves on the College of Engineering Student Advisory Board. As I mentioned earlier, she will spend next year conducting research in Switzerland as a Fulbright awardee in Bern. Heather, congratulations on your three-peat hat trick of awards. Bravo. For chemical engineering, Sarah Lyons. While earning her BS in chemical engineering, Sarah excelled in research and served as president of the American Institute of Chemical Engineers student chapter, as a student ambassador for the College of Engineering, and as a mentor for women in engineering. Last summer, Sarah interned at Bristol Myers Squibb in product development. Sarah has been accepted to many prestigious PhD programs, and we be, will begin her studies in the fall, and we look forward to hearing which one you select. Congratulations. Thank you. Civil engineering, Tommy McSparren. Initially, Tommy had no idea what he wanted to major in. However, late into his senior year in high school, his calculus teacher encouraged him to explore civil engineering. His attrib he attributes his success at URI to his parents, and he gives a shout out to a study group named the Dream Team. Tommy spent much of his limited spare time at URI playing on the club baseball team and doing many intramural sports. Tommy has a minor in mathematics and was an intern at a Rhode Island consulting firm. After graduation, he plans to work full-time for Rhode Island Consulting and pursue a master's degree. Bravo, Tommy. For computer engineering, Whitney Scholerman. Whitney Scholerman is a transfer student from CCRI and graduating in computer engineering program. While working as a tutor, she developed a passion for mathematics and decided to pursue it as a minor. After graduation, she wants to use her education to help develop innovations to improve human lives and ensure environmental sustainability. Thank you for transferring to URI, Whitney, and congratulations. The next award is for electrical engineering, Nicholas Kostek. Nicholas began in the workforce as an entry level engineering technician at the Naval Undersea Warfare Center, Newick. After working side by side with engineers for years, it became something that he aspired to be. With this newfound drive and passion, he joined the University of Rhode Island's International Future Engineering Challenge 2023 team. Nicholas will plan to return to URI to complete graduate research. Bravo, Nicholas. For industrial and systems engineering, Sarah Lang. Sarah is an industrial and systems engineering student from Winchester, Massachusetts. She has also completed her minor in theater with a focus on stage craft and lighting and is the captain of the URI Women's Ultimate Team. She has worked this year with Hayward Industries on her senior capstone project to help find a solution to the company's downtime problems by creating an online light board that tracks when the lines are down and what resources are required to solve the problem. She has also spent a year working under Dr. Macht in the Sustainable Innovative Solutions Lab where she worked on creating a survey to understand the risk perception of installing 
photovoltaic cells. And in July, Sarah will be starting her new job at PepsiCo as a supply chain associate. Congratulations. Mechanical Engineering, Caroline Downing. Caroline is a mechanical engineering student from Coventry, Rhode Island. She has conducted research within the Dynamic Photomechanics Laboratory in Composite Materials under the guidance of Professor Rousseau. She has also had an internship at Lucas and Warwick the last two years, where she's heavily involved in meteorological, meteorological advancements of the company. Caroline is pursuing her interest in material science at WPI and a PhD program. Bravo, Caroline. Ocean engineering goes to Elizabeth Eliza Taylor. And Eliza is from Newport, Rhode Island, and she's graduating with a BS in ocean engineering. She is a National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, known as NOAA, Ernest F. Hollings Scholar. She interned with NOAA in Honolulu, Hawaii, and she was at the Pacific Island Fisheries Science Center, where she worked on improving marine mammal tracking algorithms. Eliza is also captain of the URI sailing team and a top performing crew. Congratulations. And so we'll ask, uh, thank you, Anthony, uh, Dean John Kirby of the College of Environment and Life Sciences to join us on stage. So animal science and technology, Molly Langevin. Molly Langevin is a dedicated and talented scientist who thoughtfully engages with course content in a truly advanced way. An aspiring zoo professional with a keen eye for animal behavior, Molly was an undergraduate researcher, teaching assistant, and ambassador for the animal science program. She's well prepared to advance in her chosen field and she will continue to pursue zoo animal management in a German exchange program next year. Bravo, Mali. Aquaculture and fishery science goes to Mitchell Parizek. Mitchell is receiving this award in aquaculture and fishery science because since the beginning of his tenure at URI, he has been an enthusiastic and dedicated student, actively participating and keen to ask many questions. His interest in aquaculture has led him to pursue several projects to expand his knowledge and background in the field. It has been a pleasure to work with him and we have no doubt that he will have great success in his future endeavors. Congratulations. Biology goes to Danielle D'April. Danny is graduating from the College of Environment and Life Sciences with a Bachelor of Arts in Biology. He completed his undergraduate degree in less than three years and took 22 credits in his final semester. He achieved this while working in the CPA's office on both individual and corporate tax returns. And in his spare time, he is an avid musician and composer. Danielle, congratulations. For biotechnology, Sakshi Mishra. Sakshi is graduating with a BS in biotechnology. She has been involved in research with Dr. Albert Koch in the area of agricultural biotechnology since the summer of 2022. As a transfer from Viji Vaz College of Arts and Science and Commerce in India, Sakshi was immediately successful in the classroom and the lab. She is currently applying to graduate schools to continue her education. Congratulations, Sakshi.
for Cell and Molecular Biology, Sierra Hefferan. Sierra will graduate as a Cell and Molecular Biology major with a specialization in biochemistry and a mathematics minor. Sierra has also been a member of the women's track and field team as a middle distance runner and was involved with independent research performing community analysis of micro biomass and filtered surface water samples collected in Rhode Island. She will continue her education in graduate school, working towards a PhD program and is part of the New England Track and Field Championship team. Bravo. For environmental science and management, Jacqueline Brabantz. Jackie graduated in December 2022 with a BS in environmental science and management and a minor in marine affairs. While at URI, she was actively engaged in research investigating advanced septic systems for nitrogen and PFAS. She was a student assistant for the Metcalf Institute. She starts a new job, environmental analyst two, with the Mass DEP Bureau of Waste Site Cleanups, PFAS branch this April. Such an important work these days. Best of luck, Jackie. Thank you. Next award is in landscape architecture, going to Seth Boyce. Seth is graduating at the top of his landscape architecture class is a member of Sigma Lambda Alpha Honor Society and was the president of the URI student chapter of the American Society of Landscape Architects organization. He will receive his BLA with two minors, community planning and sustainability. Seth is interested in integrating environmental problem solving and systems thinking with community-based design and planning. Bravo, Seth. For Marine Affairs, Athena Vieira. From Tiverton, Rhode Island, Athena is a Marine Affairs and Political Science double major. She studied international ocean policy with Dr. Mendenhall and shipping ports and coastal resilience with Dr. Becker. After graduation, Athena will become a deckhand on the Amistad in Mystic Seaport. Athena enjoyed the interdisciplinarity, interdisciplinarity within Marine Affairs and we are very impressed with how she shaped her degree to fit her passions. Congratulations. Marine biology goes to Willow Dunster, a marine biology major with a minor in marine affairs. Willow did research on the genomics of microalgae and corals living at different depths on reefs. She was a Coastal Fellow, a Rhode Island EPSCOR Surf Fellow, a recipient of URI Research and Innovation and Biological Sciences Research Grants, and received honorable mention for the National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship. Willow has also been an undergraduate teaching assistant, volunteer with Save the Bay. She plays clarinet in the concert band and is captain of the URI dive team. After a year off, she will apply to PhD programs to study molecular ecology of corals. Bravo. Medical laboratory science goes to Alexa Massey. In addition to ac academic excellence as a graduate student in medical laboratory science, Lexi has demonstrated strength as a leader by serving as a residential assistant for two years. She has gained hands-on experience in medical lab science through an internship in laboratory at health services and employment in the hematology department of Miriam Hospital. After graduation, Lexi plans to earn an MBA with the goal of moving into laboratory management. Congratulations, Lexi. Thank you. 
for Molecular Neuroscience, Paige Lazarich. Paige is graduating with a Molecular Neuroscience degree. As a student, she has shown amazing dedication and interest in her studies. She has earned an undergraduate research in initiative grant, URI2, for her work with Dr. Quinlan on the effects of prenatal exposure to antidepressants on motor development. Over the summer, Paige plans to work as a medical scribe to gain hands-on clinical experience to prepare for the physician assistant school application process. Congratulations, Paige. For plant sciences, Jay Sickle. Jay has made a big impact here since transferring from Mount Holyoke. In addition to being our top student, she has TA'd for several classes and loves to help other students achieve by leading study and review sessions. In 2022, Jay attended the prestigious Cornell Agritech Summer Research Scholars Program and plans on attending graduate school in preparation for a career in plant pathology. We are so pleased you transferred to URI, Jay. Congratulations. Thank you. Juvi Cambrio is winning the award for Sustainable Agriculture and Food Systems. She's passionate about food justice UV worked with the URI Cooperative Extension on the Food Recovery for Rhode Island's program. UV also participated in research on food safety and urban agriculture. UV's honors project focused on urban agricultural practices within Providence immigrant communities. After graduating, she will participate in a Savannah Institute agroforestry apprenticeship and ultimately plans to continue her research on food systems and graduate school. Juvi, congratulations. For wildlife and conservation biology, Juliana Macrotigiano. Juliana graduated in December 2022 with a BS in wildlife and conservation biology. During her time at URI, she has been involved with field research on wood turtles and eastern spadefoot toads. She also was the co-author on a peer-reviewed journal article on investigating the online sales of small turtles. On top of all of this, she was president of the Rhodey Rhapsodies a cappella group. We will not ask you to sing, but we will congratulate you for this honor for wildlife and conservation biology. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Dean Kirby, and now I'd like to ask uh, Dean Deborah Eby to join us on stage. Thank you. So for clinical neuroscience, Emily D. Don Atto. Emily is a Johnson native and will be earning a clinical neuroscience degree. As a student, she has shown amazing dedication and interest in her studies and has excelled in a series of demanding science courses. And she has worked for the HIV Care and Prevention Project. And she's just accepted a position at the South County Dermatology in their Barrington office, which she starts at the end of May. Congratulations, Emmy. For communicative disorders, Joshua Deus. Joshua is majoring in communica communicative disorders and minoring in psychology and education. Along with achieving academic excellence in the classroom, he has been actively involved in hearing loss education across the state of Rhode Island. Joshua has led an adult support group that provides education on hearing loss hearing aids, and assistive listening devices through the URI's speech and hearing centers. He has also developed and presented educational materials about noise exposure and hearing loss at state health fairs for high school students. 
Joshua will be pursuing a doctorate degree in audiology. Congratulations. Thank you. For health studies, Aidan Boving. Aidan is graduating with a BS in health studies, global environmental health, and a BS in cell and molecular biology. He has conducted research with URI faculty on health psychology, environmental microbiology, and epidemiology. Currently, he studies traumatic injuries at URI. Aidan has volunteered with URI EMS and the West Kingston Fire Department. He's an honors program graduate, and he plans to pursue a graduate degree in health-related microbiology. Congratulations, Aidan. For Human Development and Family Science, the awardee is Stacy Pinkowitz. Stacy has earned an impress impressive, perfect GPA at URI while pursuing her BS in Human Development and Family Science. Stacy has enriched the lives of many children through her work as a naturalist teacher, teaching assistant, program coordinator, and psychological research and testing intern. Stacy brings kindness, authenticity, and joy not only to her work, but to the classroom where she is well regarded among both her peers and faculty. On June 1st, she starts her full-time role coordinating family and preschool programming on the Sustainable Farm site for the Delaware Nature Society. Congratulations. For nutrition and dietetics, Marie Pham. Marie is graduating as a pre-med dietetics major. She's an outstanding student with her honors thesis addressing nutrition education in medical school. Raised by Egyptian immigrants, Marie aspires to become a medical doctor to address health problems faced by minority families. Marie's experiences include shadowing medical doctors, working as a student researcher in a nutrition lab, and volunteering as a COVID-19 contact tracer at her church. And I had the pleasure of seeing her poster at the Honors Symposium, so thank you very much, Marie. Congratulations. For psychology. The awardee is Adam Tabaris. Adam is graduating with a BS in psychology. He has a stellar academic record in which he excelled as an undergraduate teaching assistant for an upper level research methods course. Adam was a research intern for Newport Mental Health doing survey data collection with clients and supervisors noted his mastery of both the technical aspects of the research but also his person-centered care of clients. Adam has also interned at the Department of Behavioral Health Care, Developmental Disabilities, and Hospitals, and is presenting an academic poster based on his work within the department's data unit. He has also supported an important conference on early intervention in psychosis. In all of his efforts at URI, Adam has presented himself and the university in the best possible light. Congratulations, Adam. Thank you. I will now ask Dean Danielle Dennis to join us on stage. Early childhood education goes to Amy Luzon. Amy is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Early Childhood Education and a minor in human development and family studies. Amy has taken several special education courses and plans to pursue a master's degree in special education. She's a member of the National Honor Society and Kappa Delta Pi National Education Honor Society, as well as several nonprofit organizations. She has served as a teaching assistant throughout college 
and she's very excited to become a full-time educator. Amy, congratulations. For health and physical education, the awardee is Ariana DeAngelis. Ariana's competitive nature, love for sports, and passion for building connections and working with children led her to pursue a BS in health and physical education. She plans to continue her education by obtaining a master's in educational leadership with the future goal of becoming an athletic director or principal. Additional career goals include, of course, coaching competitive sports. Congratulations. Interdisciplinary studies goes to Jonathan Hammond. After a decade of racing sailboats professionally, Jonathan returned to URI to study math, physics, and leadership to complete an interdisciplinary studies BS and minor in business. He engaged with the URI community through the Student Advisory Council and Launch Lab and was inducted into Phi Kappa Phi, a national honor society. Jonathan will now be working towards a career in venture capital. Congratulations, Jonathan. For professional leadership, the awardee is Aaron Fitzenry. Aaron learned about leadership the hard way through a series of challenging examples during the early parts of his career. He knew he wanted to do better. Aaron, now an executive chef in URI's dining services, enrolled at the UR University of Rhode Island at age 44 with a handful of college credits and an associate's degree in culinary arts. He is graduating with a degree in professional leadership studies, confident in his ability to be an effective leader and mentor. He hopes to remain a part of the campus for a very long time, and so do we, and looks to the future with hope, gratitude, and optimism for all of the experiences and opportunities URI has to provide. Congratulations, Aaron. Kaylee Esposito Russell is winning the award for secondary education. Kaylee is committed to urban science education. A double major in biology and secondary education, she is a recipient of a Noyce scholarship. During her time at URI, Kaylee has worked as a resident academic mentor for three years and also spent the spring break volunteering in Philadelphia with URI Service Corps. This summer, Kaylee will be working at a STEM camp for indigenous youth in Rhode Island, and in the fall, she will be working in Providence Public School District as a middle school science teacher. Kaylee, congratulations. Before we move on to the second part of our presentation, which is two additional awards, why don't we give folks a round of a hand? This is just fabulous. Now we go to the second annual presentation of the Donald H. DeHaye's Provost Emeritus Honors Excellence Award. The Provost Excellence Award recognizes a student who has completed the honors program and has achieved the highest level of academic achievement as evidenced by their academic record, completion of an innovative or highly impactful honors project, and potential for leadership and future contributions to society. The award this year goes to Jillian Hodge. Jillian is not able to be here today because she's busy completing her flagship capstone year in Taiwan. And she is an international studies student and a diplomacy major as well. The URI Honors Program recognizes Jillian for being an exemplary honors student and for her outstanding contributions to and participation in the program. In her time at URI, Jillian Hodge was, has received the Boren Scholarship and the Demers Fellowship, 
held internships with the U.S. Department of State, the Naval War College, and with Senator Reid and White House, served as a study abroad peer advisor, as a URI global peer advisor, and as a group leader for alternative spring break, and on top of that, tutored for the Academic Enhancement Center, and completed two honors projects, and maintained a high level of academic performance, all while working part-time throughout. Sounds like she was pretty busy. The honors program recognizes Jillian for her accomplishments and her inspirational attributes as a model URI student. She is going places, and we wish her all the very best. Congratulations to Jillian. L.C. Longoluco is winning the award. Our final award of the ceremony is a special one, and it's entitled Finish What You Started Award. There are 39 million people in the United States who started college yet never completed, and we have a special program at URI overseen by Nancy Rabidou, who's here in the audience, I believe. Nancy? Yeah, okay. Um, it's great. This award goes to a deserving adult student who came back to college and did finish and did so with excellence. Delcy is thrilled to be graduating from the University of Rhode Island with a Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies degree with a focus on urban planning. She started taking courses at URI in 92 as a non-traditional student and working full-time, family responsibilities, and children put her own personal college plans on hold. In 2016, as fate would have it, she saw a flyer for the program at URI. That same week, a random conversation with a woman she met on a bus changed her life forever. And that woman was Deborah Carroll, an academic advisor for the professional studies program that Delcy was interested in studying. Delcy cred credits Ms. Carroll and Nancy Rabidou, the coordinator for FYYS, for helping her stay motivated to return and complete her degree. The support of her family, especially her sister, has meant the world to her. For all those adult learners out there, she says, believe in yourself, you can learn at any age, and through this 31-year journey, Delcy has proven something to herself, that she has the strength to conquer anything, and she's looking forward to using her degree to open new opportunities traveling with her husband, Tom, and getting back to being a crafting extraordinaire. Delcy, congratulations. We would also like to acknowledge awardees who could not join us today because they have exciting opportunities, some with international study abroad, some field experience, or graduate school. Uh, these individuals are Zachary Bergeron for Biological Sciences, Nadia Razan for Kinesiology, Jillian Hodge for International Studies and Diplomacy and Honors, Erin Torgerson for Chinese. She's completing her capstone year uh, as a Chinese flagship program in Taipei. Anna Falcioni, elementary education, and Betle Roan Nielsen, innovation and entrepreneurship. So please, let's congratulate them as well. Uh, that concludes this part of the program in today's awards ceremony, but before we stop, let's do one more round of applause for these fabulous individuals. I feel comforted knowing that we have these exceptional individuals who will be leading us in this uh, future endeavor that we are all going to experience, and uh, we look forward to all of the things that you do and accomplish. Um, again, I'd like to thank President Prolonge for, for participating and helping with awarding all of these individuals, uh, acknowledging what you've done. And I invite everybody to join President Prolonge at the Welcome Center in the Hope Room. And congratulations again, and thank you for attending. And again, congratulations, you did amazing things.
if I may, just one last thank you, uh, not to neglect anybody, but a big shout out to Dean Labuti, Dr. Dean Labuti and his team for putting this all together. We couldn't have done it without you. The Hope Room is across the street. <laughs> See you there. Thank mm -hmm. you.